Hello everyone, today I'd like to go through two solutions to a leak code problem. We'll first look at the solution with the BQN array language, and then we'll look at a GPU capable solution in CUDA that uses the thrust template library. So given a string that contains just the characters open paren and close paren, we try to find the length of the longest valid parentheses substring. So for the string open paren, open paren, close paren, our expected length would be two. Of course, for close, open close, open close, close, the expected answer is four. And of course, for the empty string, the answer is zero. We'll be looking at the BQN solution first. So here's the full solution. It's quite a bit to take in, but we will walk through it step by step. So the first thing I do is take the index into the string close paren, open paren, in order to convert the string into integers, and then I take all the prefixes of that array. I then multiply by two and subtract one so that each index represents the change in the level of nesting at that index. I then sum scan to find the cumulative level of nesting up to that index for each prefix of the array. And then I find the zeros in each prefix, since these are the locations where the substring is balanced. We can then group the results to find the indices which are non-balanced and balanced for each prefix. We can then, of course, just drop the first list in each prefix so that we only have the balanced indices. This is a little harder to see with the shorter problem, so I switch to the longer problem. We can then flatten the sublists together and find the largest element, which represents the index in a given prefix with the longest valid substring. And because we're using zero-based indices as God intended, we'll have to add one to the result. We'll also take the maximum of our result in zero in case no balanced substrings were found, which would otherwise give us negative infinity. So finally, let's look at the whole solution with all of our test cases. Here we get four, two, and zero, just like we expected. Okay, and we're back to our final answer. Now that we've gone through the BQN solution, we can move on to take a look at our CUDA and thrust solution. So here's the full solution, minus some includes and using statements. This is really long and it's a lot to take in, so we'll break it down step by step. First, I grab the problem size so I don't have to keep repeating myself, and I check to make sure our problem size is greater than zero. I then transform the string into integers and copy the data to the GPU device. This step is just like the BQN solution up until this point. I then create an STL vector to hold the starting positions for each prefix. I'm using the STL here instead of thrust because I'll otherwise have to nest my CUDA calls, and not all of the thrust API is callable from the device. So the next step is to perform a reduction. In order to map this solution onto our BQN solution, we have to work from the outside in. This call to accumulate is just like the max reduce that we see here in our BQN solution. We're reducing over the maximum balance substring for each prefix of the input string here. Inside of our call to accumulate, I create a device vector for the given prefix, and I take the prefix sum of that current prefix. I then create an iota to zip with our prefix summed string, or a range in BQN parlance, or a sequence in thrust parlance. This corresponds to the couple dyad in BQN, or the zip function in Python, or lots of other functional languages. I then perform two algorithms in this one step. If the given position in the prefix summed substring is zero, that means it's balanced and I want to keep the index. Otherwise, I can just throw it out. After performing this transform or map algorithm, I take the max reduction of the substring to find the greatest index at which the substring is balanced. If there are multiple points in the substring where the parens are balanced, this will find the greatest one. I then return the maximum balanced substring for the current prefix, which is then folded in the outer std accumulate to find the greatest balanced substring for all the prefixes of the original string. I then return the maximum length that I found and we have our answer. I ran this with some test cases like so. And running this gives me the answers 4, 2, and 0, just like we expected. Thank you all for tuning in, and I hope you enjoyed this example program. You can find all the GPU examples I used in the links in the description below.